if you're looking to travel to lagos nigeria anytime soon you definitely want to see this video hi guys it's your girl bola Abioye, and in this video i will be telling you about my five undisputed timeless tips maybe not timeless okay about traveling to lagos nigeria based on my recent experience okay guys so if you follow me on instagram by the way check me out on instagram I'm at underscore oyebola underscore you would see that recent i've been to lagos nigeria for one of my friend's wedding it was amazing it was absolutely beautiful i really had a good time um yeah so i've been to lagos recently you've seen my reels my stories my posts um about being in lagos and there's just some takeouts that i have that i felt like would be useful for other people that would want to travel to lagos nigeria anytime because these things kind of caught me off guard and i just feel like yeah they'll be useful to people so why not share here by the way thank you thank you thank you so much for your love on my exeter videos i have been receiving many questions about exeter on instagram um at underscore you underscore <laughs> so i've been receiving many comments and questions and i will address some of them in different videos or in another video and without further ado let's get into today's video by the way do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel because more useful information coming through and check out my other videos okay guys so the first tip i'm going to give for traveling to lagos is definitely book a direct flight i know things tend to be expensive and all that this is actually where I have a story time, but I know that not everyone is keen on hearing my stories. Some of you are just here for information. So if you're keen on hearing my stories about my flight booking, my story actually about my flight booking and how, you know, I almost didn't make it to that wedding, definitely stay to the end because I will be sharing the story. So I'll focus on tips now. Then at the end of this video, I would share the story about my own, you know, particular experience and everything that sort of happened okay so the first thing is definitely book a direct flight while i'm saying book a direct flight i understand that it could be expensive but for me i booked my trip way ahead of time so if i had booked the direct flight it shouldn't have cost me like way like a lot more than what i paid for the trip anyway so um yeah just book a direct flight if you're booking we're ahead of time because i got into some kind of mess based on changed laws but again i wouldn't bore you with that because the thing about it is like some airlines they have like rules and you know there's with nigerian passports <laughs> things change rules change you know you could be flying to an european country i think it was last year after i had come here that i came early last year right so it seems like many things have changed since i came um, flying through European countries now you need um, a travel transit visa and you know if you're transiting for one hour two hours anyway I won't get into it my point is <laughs> rules change and it may be in your best interest to just book a direct flight if you're booking way ahead of time if you're booking like very close to the time you're traveling then you may really want to look into the laws to see what has changed what still holds and to just make sure that you don't get to the airport and you know some rules have changed and i just realized that i love nigeria i am i'm a nigerian i'm proud to be a nigerian but the thing about it is like you know with uk gov.uk you can go there and you can see like rules and what it should be like traveling as a british citizen or permanent resident maybe to another country you can sort of see the things that have changed etc but i don't think there's any website like that for nigeria or there's usually like things to benefit nigerian citizens like you need to actually dig to find once in a while you find this news on like blogs or maybe the news maybe nigerian news is there sometimes tell me if you've ever seen like information regarding immigration changes in nigerian news but i noticed that for me maybe because i don't live in nigeria at the moment i find them on blogs i find them on vlogs on youtube that sort of thing so there's no like unified place to like find all the information you need so you find yourself like going through maybe a schengen website or european website or you know uk website trying to find out the website of the country you need to go to or you need to transit through to know what their laws are for all that of nigerian passports so guys like i know it is absolutely annoying I say to save you all that stress if you're traveling with kids as well you may just want to book a direct flight because you don't want surprises and this laws change all the time guys oh 
okay we wouldn't be mad about it today we'll just breathe <laughs> and um yeah so that's it i'll just say book a direct flight if you're booking ahead of time and you can afford it because for me that would have saved me a lot of mess and eventually i actually used the direct flight and i had to book it rebook a day to my trip Ugh, okay you may see i always get into this kind of mess considering my former story about me trying to travel like my trip to egypt my supposed trip to egypt that did not work out anyway i would leave the link to that story time up there and you can check it out yeah you can see i'm always getting into like this kind of mess but i think i should just do better with checking for these rules and these laws but i don't want you to fall into the traps i've fallen into this year to be fair i've attempted to travel so many times this year so maybe that's why i keep running into these problems we didn't see me here but this is what it is and yeah i'm learning my lessons as i'm going and i just thought to share with you so I know that's a long point and definitely watch my story time at the end if you want to really understand the integrities of everything that happened oh god shout out to my mom for like just holding me together that 24 hours before my flight because bruh thank you mom if you're watching this she's a sweet ass anyway watch my story time at the end if you want to know the other details okay and then my next tip is do not plan to drive do not plan to drive in nigeria hmm. so my mom and one of our friends picked me up from the airport and like driving home i was like what like huh like my i was in back seat, back seats but every time my heart was like jumping like oh my god what's going to happen like the driving was crazy and just to think that okay i didn't because i left right like at the beginning of 2022 so in 2021 i was driving in lagos so i'm just like okay was i fine then was i crazy too was i bro like anyway so the driving in lagos is crazy it's crazy guys it's crazy and i think you wouldn't realize how crazy it is until you stepped out of nigeria and come back it's just the de default mode like i grew up in nigeria i grew up in lagos so and you know it wasn't like so strange for people to drive a certain way but like just going to the UK and coming back and I was there asking myself am I acting brand new am I acting you know <laughs> I went to the UK or what like I had to like slap myself like slap my wrist like what's wrong with me but it was really like what I was seeing <sighs> guys don't plan to drive in Lagos okay like you just raise your heart, your blood pressure for nothing there's something called young stroke <laughs> you don't want that okay you don't want to raise your blood pressure okay so just like I wouldn't advise you to plan to drive in Lagos. Just don't. <laughs> no plan to drive in Lagos. Book an Uber. I had friends or like people that I knew that booked um, you know, an Uber driver or sort of like chartered a taxi to stay with them all week, depending on your location, and they just took them around. So like that's something you could consider doing. I wouldn't advise you to just like you know plan to drive. It's planning to drive. I think that is, that is going to be disappointing. Not even like because when you get there, probably not be able to do it. And like, okay, I would go. To, I would talk more about this driving points in another point, <laughs> especially when it has to do with like the areas like you are driving in. So guys, next point is do not use your gadgets in cars especially at night like do not use your laptop do not use your phone especially at night like i get it you're on holiday and all that and you want to chill and maybe your your like laptop in the back like because you're stuck in traffic in normal lagos fashion but to be fair like there wasn't much traffic when i was in lagos this time around i think it had to do with the fall scarcity and the prices of falls really skyrocketing for really skyrocketing which is really bad but right there wasn't as much traffic but i'm saying to not use your gadgets in cars this has not affected me personally but I remember in 2019 when a family member came for their wedding in nigeria and their phone got taken like at gunpoint because like they were stuck in traffic and you know funny people came around and you know at gunpoint took their gadgets which was really sad because they came for their wedding it was an important you know occasion and it was just really sad 
yeah and i've had when i mentioned this to some of my friends they just told me that they have family members that have experienced something similar so this is like a common practice and i just remember truly like when you live in lagos and you're stuck on maybe todd Midland bridge traffic i guess um there was a day that me and my friends were stuck no it was me and one of my friends we are stuck on third mainland bridge for hours like three hours we are moving at like snail speed and like what we did was we took our laptop on that chair and i know it's crazy but it's what you have to do if you're traveling to lagos i feel like if you lived outside nigeria for a while and there's just that um you know consciousness consciousness of like resting given you don't live in a place like london where i hear, hear that they snap juries and whatever but i don't know about gadgets anyway so now um we used to talk our laptops on the chairs chairs of the car of the front seats that kind of thing i can just remember that kind of like behavior but if you're coming if you've lived outside nigeria and then you're coming back you can come in with that relaxed mindset like oh i'm on holiday and you know this is home and you're just like chilling and you don't want those kind of occurrences you want to avoid it as much as you can so i wouldn't advise you to be using any of your gadgets in like your car or in your uber because what happens is like the your screen reflects on the window and then you know that's how they sort of do things and they sort of fish you out because like your the light from your screen just attracts them basically and you get into trouble and i don't want that for you dear friend dear subscriber don't forget to subscribe by the way and like this video if you're finding it's useful and entertaining by the way okay so i don't want that for you so please do not use your gadgets in cars and this is not to scare you about going to nigeria i mean i will forever be like a Nigeria girl like a lagos girl so i do not 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 lagos girl in that sense but like i'll always be a nigerian girl let me just say nigerian girl so like this is not bashing or whatever i am just looking out for you <laughs> so guys the next one is prepare to see things from a third person point of view or from a third person's perspective why i'm saying this is like when i was in lagos like i said many times especially with the drive and i had to start myself many times like but that, like don't act brand new like i don't ever want to be that person that is like you know when people travel out and they come back and yeah it's like oh oh what's that what's that like i never want to be that person so i was trying my best not to be that person as much as i could like oh this is home in the end so but at the same time i was looking at things from a third person's perspective because it's like having maybe not to be dramatic like an out of body experience <laughs> like just visualizing myself in this place and seeing you know how bad things have gotten for, for people over the last one two years and just seeing oh my god like i've actually been here before and it looks like this place has gone backwards like it's really sad and again when i say third person perspective it's like i could now see things like how my friends that live on the island they would drive a different kind of car to the mainland certain areas in the mainland i could see i remember actually this is 2021 one of my friends was like oh okay i'll drive i'll drive my Toyota Corolla to pick me at home or something and i was just like what what do you mean because my family house is on the mainland right but yeah, like i think it's the condition of the roads and sometimes like you don't want to attract certain attention because you're driving this that anyway my point is prepare to see things from a different point of view because then i went from the i went because like i said the family house on the mainland so i went from the mainland to the island and just going through some areas going through some areas on the mainland and going to the island this is really sharp so it's not like you know massive distance from mainland to island but um still i could see like a real wealth gap and you know the condition of the roads how people even drove was different like it's crazy on the island though, don't get me wrong but it's crazier on the mainland because like there's no proper demarcations on many streets like you know those boulevard lines is that what they're called like i think they are in in some places on the island but no they're not in many places on mainland or so yeah so driving can be tricky police problems okay i oh, i actually realized that that's why some of my friends do not drive certain cars in mainland because 
police problems as well so my point is not even like in car thin or just the driving thing but it's just that third person perspective to see like oh this is why things are like this is why things were the way they were this is why people look at certain things a certain way because of like you know the way <laughs> the way that's the way they actually are if you're looking at it objectively so i'll say i was looking at things more objectively and just like i could really sort of empathize with some things and some circumstances in a very different way yeah like just hearing how much like people get paid seeing the um difference in the exchange rates the fall price guys like it's tough for people it's really hard for people and yeah just yeah 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 just prepare yourself to be in those shoes to see things from that perspective just just don't be shocked if you're like acting maybe halfway brand new like mm. so yeah that is something i think i wasn't prepared for so i found myself making so many exclamations and you know talking to my mom about many things and she was just like ah like ah, yeah like didn't you know this before like she was like yeah she could agree with some things because things have actually gotten worse in for people to an extent especially the exchange rates and everything so so you don't get like extremely shocked about that just prepare your mind to notice that okay so that is my fourth point and that's the one that also like sort of correlates with the driving and why i was like doing like oh my <laughs> my heart felt like it to jump out of my <laughs> chest <laughs> okay okay when you know i was being driven and you know people were overtaking and all that but you know what it's fine so next one or the last one actually before my story time is about like manager expectations about seeing th people seeing seeing friends especially if you're going for like a big occasion like a wedding a family event etc so set realistic expectations about seeing people for me i just like invited people to like wherever i was like come to the wedding come to the hotel like come like my mom's birthday was also the same week so it was like oh my mom's birthday then the wedding so there wasn't that much time to see everyone else i'd love to see and yeah it's, it's just what it is it's, except you're staying for an extended period of time you would actually not like you, that's when if you're staying for an extended period of time you wouldn't feel like the effect of not being able to see everyone you would love to see but um for me i couldn't see as many people because i was there for just like one week eight days they're about so i couldn't see everyone i'd love to see so people that i as mo many people as i could i just asked them to meet me here meet me there so just set realistic expectations and all that even about things you'd want to do i can remember like braiding my hair like the day before i wanted to travel i did my lashes on the same day as my flight because you know when you go to nigeria you just want like an overall you want your braids you want all that because like you get better service for like better prices there so yeah that is how i feel about my last trip to nigeria and those are my five undisputed tips for all my subscribers <laughs> i hope you found some useful i hope they are useful for your next trip don't forget to subscribe and like this video <laughs> okay especially if you live in exeter or if you live in the uk and you're a nigerian if you're a nigerian if you're a girl if you live in the uk you're in exeter okay i'm just joking everybody if you're watching this please subscribe to my channel i'm trying to make it to 400 subscribers please 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 okay right so let's go into the story time so guys don't come for me oh because i i know like this year i have like always gotten into this messy you know flight not checking information because i just think like you know life should be easy and i'm just a soft girl <laughs> so i just think oh once i get to the airport they'll just stamp my passport and i'll just go and my friend went to egypt so i should be able to go anyway that was from that video so now in this 
this time around i just went online uh, and i booked lufthansa i'm going to call the name of the airline i booked lufthansa airways to travel to nigeria and i had a bit of a messy circumstance where i had applied for schengen visa but i had to withdraw so if i had a schengen visa anyway lufthansa is a german airline so i'd have to go to, to germany and i was transiting for just one hour guys one hour and then i needed like a transit visa to go through germany for one hour so i've already booked this um flight ticket since like march because i knew i was traveling like already i already knew from the beginning of the year that i was traveling for this wedding so i already booked my flight ahead of time so you can imagine how reasonably affordable it was compared to like what it would have been right so like if i had booked closer so anyway sha i booked that flight and i was like Phew. i booked my flights i'm ready to go blah 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 and then when i'm trying to check in online a day to my trip why are you telling me that i need a visa like a transit visa like what like what and i was just transiting germany for like an hour do you get like if you're transiting an airport for an hour you're not gonna sit down you're going to be going from like you know getting off the plane you're going to like immigration to like get on your next flight period like you're not there's no wait time so it was like absurd to me but i'm glad i got my money back sha but i had to book another flight like i can remember being on phone with my mom like just like oh my god i don't know what to do my mom was like you have to come to your friend's wedding you're the maid of honor you have to come <laughs> okay and she just calming me down and everything and really in life everything is not about money yeah yeah everything's not about money i'm going to say it again everything's not about money i'm glad i didn't miss my friend's wedding for anything yeah especially because i was a maid of honor let me say that i know i said that like 10 times already but i'll say it again <laughs> so yeah i had to book another flight like a day to my trip for double the price guys double the price i had to book my flight my flight was like quite just a ba i should have just booked a ba from the start or oh, like any direct flights guys like please don't don't do this to yourself i'm just glad that i got my money back but the the sad part is i paid like double for you know if i had booked a ba i'd have paid like maybe 200 pounds extra or i'd have paid a bit of extra but not like double do you get so guys we just thank god in everything <laughs> give thanks to god right so yeah i booked the flight though and i went for the wedding so that's my little story there actually sharp I was just really distraught like the day before like how would i you know get to this wedding i was really sad though but i made it and i had fun and yeah like i said everything's not about money i feel like we, you don't as much as i love to save and invest and everything you know i'm big on that um everything is not about money because in the end like some experiences you're not always going to remember like specific money you had like oh i had 200 that day and i had 400 today and i had 300 i could save but you would always remember experiences you always remember people so yeah if it's important just walk your way around it so that that was my take out from that from that situation and thank you for staying with me till the end of today's video this has been fun for me i am glad to be finally back on youtube trust me while i was away i wasn't messing around i got okay i changed a lot <laughs> i changed jobs i changed you know i moved all that so yeah that's all that's been happening in the background and that's why i've not been here and i'm glad to be back i hope you can tell i really had fun shooting this video thank you for staying with me do not forget to like subscribe so you can keep having fun like this <laughs> okay so i do videos on travel lifestyle i give all unsolicited opinions sometimes in some of my videos and i'll probably be giving more of those in the future because i really just want to have fun in this channel with this channel and i hope you guys can also like come with me on that journey as well and i love skincare can you tell okay i love skincare and travel and lifestyle mm, yeah and yeah just follow me and let's grow together through the faces of life <laughs> okay thanks for watching today's video like again again do not forget to like give this video a thumbs up for real i'm serious now look at my face and subscribe leave a comment share with a friend who this may be useful to thank you for watching bye